Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use animation keyframe in Filmora 10. So, have you got Filmora 10 on your computer? If not, just go to the link I put in the description to uh, download the file, the installation file. Or you can just uh, watch my tutorial here or here to uh, get Filmora 10 on your computer. It's, a, it's amazing. It's a great update from Wondershare. So you should update it to uh, update to Filmora 10 because uh, we have motion tracking and animation keyframe and call and match and audio ducking. So be sure to check it out. Uh, if you don't have uh, Filmora 10 uh, already, you can uh, download at the link I put in the description and also you use my discount coupon code to save you 20% off when you purchase uh, the lifetime license okay and now let's fire Filmora on my computer this one okay so uh, when uh, waiting for the program to warm up let's explain the basic of animation keyframe in Filmora 10 first thing first you can only apply animation keyframe to your image video or elements or some kind of overlays so uh, there's no animation keyframe for your text if you apply uh, if you want to uh, apply animation keyframe for your text then you need to convert it into a kind of video or image maybe by taking snapshot or something like that then you can apply animation keyframe uh, to that and the animation keyframe in Filmora 10 included includes a rotation scale and pos position and opacity so that is the, the basic it is a little bit different compared to other program uh, compared to Filmora Pro and Premiere Pro and uh, and some other program a uh, professional program which has uh, everything so uh, everything in the keyframe now when they add a keyframe uh, they can remember the color and the scale and position and rotation and everything uh, but in Filmora 10 uh, it is uh, not nothing like that just scale rotation position and opacity okay so but that is that uh, that is uh, more than enough for us to create YouTube video like this okay so here let's fire up uh, create a new project for this example we are going to uh, stick with uh, 16 by 9 a spy show because uh, I'm going to upload this tutorial on YouTube and select that and then create a new project import some footage that uh, I'm going to use for this this one so the the most common use of animation keyframe is used to maybe put a logo on your video and and then uh, uh, move it to the to the corner to uh, uh, left or right corner of your your video so that that is uh, that is now very easy to do before in film uh, night you, you cannot do that you just uh, need to put it at the center for uh, and edit some motion and then you need to split the uh, the logo and then uh, move it to the corner so it's not animation okay so uh for this example i you i will use my uh, one of the logo on my uh, vietnamese channel so uh, let's drag and drop it onto the timeline and then we can scale it uh, scale it down like this and uh, the logo seem to to be cropped so i'm going to adjust it a, a little bit i'm click on crop and then I adjust uh, to the full size of the logo. Okay, and let's click OK. Now this is the the position uh, in the at the center of the screen. Let's uh, just scale it down. So, for example, I want to I want the logo to fly uh, fly in uh, from the left. Uh, so I, I'm going to use animation keyframe to do that. The first thing I need to uh, move it move it outside the frame. To do that, I need to um, scale down the preview window uh, and just right click on the on the preview window. Okay, just right click on the preview window and I will adjust the zoom level to 10%. For example, now I see only the uh, this is the the area that will show up in my video, and then I can move the logo out of the frame. So this is the first position of the logo okay okay maybe 10 percent is too small uh, let's adjust it to 25 percent so this is the first position of the logo i want it to uh, fly in here and then i add an, uh, an animation keyframe uh, to it uh, to do that there are some different way but you can right click and add animation keyframe and that is the first way and the second way you can double click on the logo and you find the animation uh, animation tab here and click on the animation tab and 
remember you have uh, preset here and also the motion motion in Filmora 9 uh, is here but now we are going to go to customize and then we add an add an animation keyframe for this logo so it will remember the position this position then I will move uh, move maybe five frame or ten frame forward uh, let's give this one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh it's up to you uh, it ups to you to control the how fast the the, the animation effect uh, in Filmora 10 and uh, for me I, I will add um, 10 frame okay 10 frame then I adjust the position of this logo to the center of the screen I just click on that and then I move it to the center of the screen like this so this is the, the animation that we create for the logo move and it stay here now for example I want to just uh, scale up a little bit so uh, it look like my logo fly in and then it pump up uh, and then it's uh, scale to the normal position and then it fly to the corner uh, to do that uh, at this position for example I want to scale it up I just uh, adjust the scale uh, this is 100% so I'm going to increase it uh, maybe 140 or 150% is okay and then uh, I want to to scale it down to normal position uh, with at the same with the same duration maybe at this position and then I reset the scale so it is going to be here uh, let's let's watch the the animation keyframe we create for this logo right that's nice right and when it stay here uh, for a second or something like that I want it to move to the corner of the screen then I need to add another animation keyframe here so add another uh, animation keyframe it will remember the position of the logo and the scale and opacity and everything then I move forward to here and I add uh, I adjust the position of the logo to this position so to the corner of the screen and also I adjust the scale scale it down a little bit like this and now we have the our logo uh, animation keyframe for our logo let's play it it's smooth right and very nice so that is the first use of animation keyframe uh, for the second one uh, let's drag and drop a video clip onto the timeline okay let's click OK and now we have a, this clip for example oh no this clip uh, this clip for example let's drag and drop it onto the timeline so this is a 4k uh, video let's uh, select keep project setting and at the first point I want the clip to uh, uh, wipe in so we can double click on the clip and then go to the animation and this time uh, we don't need to use the uh, custom mic we just uh, need to use a preset uh, there's a preset here called slide right slide right so it is uh, it will slide from the left to the right and then we just uh, need to double click on this to apply you see here there's a net uh, animation keyframe has been created by Filmora so we can adjust this one if we want to uh, to extend the duration of the slide uh, to make it slower or faster uh, like this but now we stick with the default one uh, let's uh, play it so you slide from the right to the left smoothly right uh, but now we uh, we need to uh, maybe we need to just uh, scale it up and scale it down to do the same but remember when you apply a preset preset here uh, you can also add an animation keyframe to this video clip with that preset but uh, if it is not possible to add animation keyframe when you use the preset motion here so that is the limitation of Filmora 10 okay so remember that no uh, you cannot if you apply the motion motion effect to your image or video you cannot use a customized animation keyframe okay so this time uh, we are going to add another um, another keyframe here and to move this clip away from the screen okay and then we can uh, add an another animation keyframe here to this clip and uh, moving forward maybe a couple of seconds and then move it out uh, maybe move it out and rotate a little bit uh, also is cool effect right now with animation keyframe you can create so many many creative way to to use it and uh, now we can adjust the adjust 
adjust the position of the clip so just move out of the frame move up out of the frame and uh, at that time I also rotate it a little bit like this so let's see uh, what is the animation uh, keyframe look like here yeah. that is very interesting right so okay so that is some some way you can uh, use animation keyframe at uh, the first way use it with your logo and the second way use it with uh, your video and now uh, we can use uh, it with the image for example if you have a talking head like this okay uh, talking head like this and for me for many reasons uh, if you want to screen yourself yourself to the corner of the screen because we need to do that uh, for um, when we uh, we um, uh, make software tutorial, it is very useful, and I use it all the time with the uh, the software I'm currently using. But with Fimura 9, I cannot do that. But now with Fimura 10, it's possible. Okay, for example, this clip, I'm going to uh, string myself to the corner of the screen. So uh, firstly, I need to add an animation keyframe uh, at this position. I, I will right click, and then I choose Add Animation Keyframe. Okay, and it open up the, this window and uh, we can click on this blur button again. So it remember the position of my clip here and then I move a couple of seconds forward and then I, add, now I click on the uh, my video again and then I string it to the corner. So this is uh, how the animation look like. Let's play it. Nice, right? But normally I, I always have a border around me. It is easy, just select the clip and then go to the effect and find the utility and then drag and drop the border around my my video here. So it has a border and then it's uh, shrink to the corner of the, the screen. And uh, finally, you can always delete the animation keyframe in Filmora 10 by right click on the clip and select delete effect it will delete all the effect in the video okay just delete it and it becomes to normal all right guys so that is a short tutorial on how to use animation keyframe for your uh, your video if you like this uh, tutorial let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye